Shall we sit it? Today is a day of favor, favor, favor. We might have taken your time, but it is a time we spend. We are not going to take your time, we are going to go straight to the message. Nevertheless, if you brought any person who is not walking, go near the person. Any person that is not walking, maybe he has stroke or broken bone, or the person is paralyzed or have spinal cord injury, can you go near the person as I speak? Shake that person now. And if you brought any person deaf or dumb, go near the person. Any person blind or paralyzed, any person that is mad. And he said, it is time for freedom. All those who cannot walk, get ready, rise up and walk in Jesus' name. Rise up and start walking now. Wherever you are, you are not walking, rise up. Use your leg now, use your body now. Rise up, rise up, quickly rise up. Wherever you are, Wherever I can see somebody walking there, I can see somebody walking there. Every spirit of paralysis, every spirit of broken bone, every spirit of paralysis come out in Jesus' name. I command you to rise up and walk now, wherever you are. Rise up, rise up, rise up. I'm still waiting for somebody there. Quickly drop your crutches, rise up and use your body. You are healed. You are here, you are here, you are here. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Drop your crushes and stand up and make use of your body. Where are the archers? Where are the archers? Quickly, quickly, quickly. Wherever. Woman, use your body. Quickly. Every broken bone be here. Stroke be here. I said, oh, that kidney failure be healed. That weakness be healed. Every abnormal growth be healed. Every paralysis be healed. Rise up and be free in Jesus' name. Rise up now. Rise up now. The Lord is waiting for you. He's waiting for you. He's waiting for you to walk. I can see you walking already. I can see you walking. Every case of paralysis is cancelled. I say paralysis is cancelled. Paralysis is cancelled. That case of death and dumb, I cancel death and dumb. Be healed in Jesus' name. Spirit of death and dumb, I command you come out in Jesus' name. Be healed. All the people there and dumb rise up now and check if you brought anybody, test the air, test the mouth. Say one, two, papa, mama, deaf and dumb. I lose you, I liberate you in Jesus' name. I cancel deaf and dumb. I cancel deaf and dumb. All the people deaf and dumb, I lose you. I command your ear be open. Your mouth be loose. Begin to speak, begin to hear in Jesus' name. Can you test them now? If you brought any person deaf and dumb, say one, two, papa, mama, Jesus. Any person deaf and dumb who has never spoken before, I release that person in Jesus' name. Any person blind, totally blind, partial blindness, I cancel blindness, I command this spirit of blindness, come out in Jesus' name. Spirit of glaucoma, spirit of blindness, spirit of death and dumb, I charge you in the name of Jesus, come out right now, be free in Jesus' name. Any person that is mad, Totally mad, partially mad, a loss of memory. I cancel madness now. Spirit of madness, come out in Jesus' name. All the people that are mad, receive your senses now. Be loose from that chance, spiritually and physically, in Jesus' name. Blindness, you are here. Death and dumb, you are here. 
Madness, you are here. Paralysis, you are here. Oh, yeah, check them now. Give me a report. Wherever you are, tell me what is going on quickly. Bring them up. We don't have too much time. Just tell me what is going on there. You are here. If you brought any person deaf and dumb, please test that person is free. Any person blind, glaucoma, a cataract, some complete blindness, she is free. Any person that is mad, please, if he's on that chair, lose that picture, that person. You are free in Jesus' name. I want to take testimony as they're coming out. The first testifier. Quickly, quickly, the first testifier. And if you are there, you brought any person that's not speaking. Can you test that person now? I'm waiting, I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you. Any person there for long. If you brought a person, can you show me the person? Deaf and dumb. So that you can test the person now. I can't find any person deaf and dumb. I lose you. I declare you free in Jesus' name. Check them and bring them out. The first testifier. What is happening? Can I bring the testimony up to me? I want to know what's going on there. He's alive. He's alive. When God is all yes, he is alive. He's alive. Can you test it? Can you give me the testimony? Forever he's alive. Amen. He's alive. He's alive. Tell us what happened to that woman quickly. What happened to her? For three weeks, she was diagnosed for kidney problem and her eyes were affected. She couldn't see. But after your prayers now, she shall see and also all the symptoms has vanished. Can you test her? Can you, Can you touch, test her? Touch me. Touch me. Touch me. Can you move around? Touch move me. around. Yes, touch Can me. You clap up touch me. Touch Jesus. Me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That problem is all over. Can we clap for Jesus? We are seeing. We are saying, oh, we are saying, a big clap offering to Jesus, the next testifier. And so, for four years, this is our beloved sister has suffered from stroke, but as she prayed now, she began to walk. Can she walk now? Let us see. A big clap offering to Jesus. What the mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. We serve. Hallelujah. Before. Oh. A big clap offering to Jesus, the next testifier. Pastor, for over 10 years, this woman was suffering from neck problem. Neck pain all over, but after your prayers, she can walk very well. With can you walk now? Walk now. now. Walk, walk, walk. Clap for Jesus. Walk, walk. Carry go, carry go, 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 a big clap offering to Jesus. Tell us what is going on. The person at your back, tell us what happened to her. 
quickly. Pastor, I see Sir Sister Frank, Sir Sister AA, one and a half years old, girl. Can we clap for Jesus? We give you all the glory. We give you all, my Lord. We give you all the glory. We give you honor, oh Lord. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. Pastor, the fire. Pastor, for four months, this our mommy has suffered from partial stroke. But as you pray now, you can see how wonderful. Thank you, Lord. We are saying Thank you Lord We are saying Thank you Lord We are saying Thank you Lord We are to sing Oh Hallelujah A big clap offering to Jesus The next testifier Pastor for one month our sister has been suffering from stroke That after your prayers She can make use of Can it. we clap for Jesus what a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Heaven and earth are calling. Oh, make the heart be troubled. What a mighty God we serve. Baby, clap off into Jesus. Can we begin to rise up on your feet? We don't have too much time today, but you, you will go home with miracle. Amen. That problem you brought here will never follow you home. Every spirit tormenting you, tormenting your marriage, tormenting your family. Every spirit husband, spirit husband. Oh yeah, leave that woman down there now. Catch fire, catch fire. Stubborn spirit husband. Oh yeah, pack your nose quickly. Wherever you tie her future, tie her womb, now catch fire, come out. Watch us, watch us there. That woman down there, that spirit that entered and have been causing problem in your life, enter your marriage. You demonic spirit, catch fire. Spirit husband. I commend you by fire. 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 You python spirit. Queen of coast. Queen of heaven. Unclean spirit. Familiar spirit. Witchcraft spirit. Catch fire. Bring the I bring the I bring the I bring the for the deliverance. Total deliverance. Total deliverance. Wherever you are bound. Anywhere they tie your future, tie your marriage, tie your prosperity, tie your money, wherever they tie your future, I lose you now. Lose, 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 lose. Woman, I lose your womb, I lose your future, I lose your finance, I lose you from that kingdom, I lose you. You queen, you marriage with cash fire. Come on, come on. Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Bring them out, bring them out, bring them out. Deliverance is going on there. You stubborn spirit. Spirit of backwardness. Spirit of delay in marriage. I pray that you come out in Jesus' name. Spirit of death. Catch fire, come out. Spirit of curse. Catch fire, come out. Holy Ghost. My Bring them out, bring them out, bring them out, wherever that deliverance is going on, bring them out. Wherever they tie you, as I count seven, wherever they tie your womb, tie your marriage, tie your future, any shrine, any temple, any river, any ocean, any kingdom, wherever there's something on you, they bind you, as I count seven, you will lose. One, two, three. 
dreams, 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 dreams. In the name of Jesus, I release you. In the name of Jesus, I lose you. In the name of Jesus, I bring you out. Be free, be free, be free, be free, be free, be free. Daddy, I stand here by your authority. All the contrary spirits, all the marine spirits, all the ancestral spirits, all the queen of heaven, queen of queen, queen of foes, cast fire, come out now. I cast into abyss in Jesus' name. Witchcraft spirit, spirit of backwardness, spirit of poverty, spirit of moving objects. I bind you, I cast abyss in Jesus' name. Familiar spirit, unclean spirit, witchcraft spirit. I bind you, I cast service in Jesus' name. Receive your freedom in Jesus' name. Precious daddy, it is written for this purpose. The Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Every works of the devil in their womb, every works of the devil in their body, I declare judgment against them. Let them be destroyed in Jesus' name. And I pray for you. That fiber I cause it. Let your fruit be cast out in Jesus' name. And I pray for you. That liver problem, I cancel it. The personal high BB, I cancel it. That stomach also be healed in Jesus' name. That your wound that is tied by the enemy, I lose your wound. I command that from this program, you take in and deliver your baby in Jesus' name. And I pray for you now. Wherever that flows your business and that of your husband, I command the door to be opened. Father, bless them in Jesus' name. And I pray for you, stooling. I command the stooling to cease. That cancer of the breast, I cause it to be healed in Jesus' name. That leg poison, I cause it to be healed in Jesus' name. The terrible my my headache, I cancel it. Let it broken in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, I pray. Whatever be the problem in that marriage, I cancel it now. Father, defend and deliver your people in Jesus' name. And you demon, you spirits, I bind you, you marine spirits, you wish trust me, you anti trust you queen. I bind you, I bind your power, I cast abyss in Jesus' name. My daddy, I pass a decree. None of this one that step into this place shall go back the same. Father, bring liberation and freedom upon everyone in Jesus' name. That cobwebs, I cancel the cobwebs. The eternal hopeless of body be healed in Jesus' name. Wherever they have taken your name to, any temple, any shrine, any river, any kingdom, I break the yoke. I cancel your name in that place in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, as I speak your word now, glorify your son Jesus. Lord, bring total freedom, favor for our both upon everyone in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost, take over. I pray take over and minister to everyone. In Jesus' powerful name we pray. Receive your freedom.
chapter you are seated turn your bible to the book of Luke chapter 1 Luke chapter 1 I'm going to be very very brief I'm going to run through the message I pray that you shall meet me at a speed in Luke chapter 1 I read verse 2 look at your bible look chapter 1 and verse 2 even as they delivered they delivered them unto us which from the beginning were eyewitnesses and ministers of the world Look at verse 26. Luke chapter 1, verse 26. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto the city of Galilee, named Nazareth, to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David and the virgin's name was Mary and the angel came unto her and said hey thou art highly favored the Lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and when she saw him she was troubled at his sin and cast it in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And look at verse 31. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. And he shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. And he shall reign over the house of, house of Jacob forever, and his, of his kingdom that shall be no end. Look at verse 37. Verse 37. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. And, and verse 38. And Mary said, Behold, the handmaid of the Lord be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. And verse 45. And blessed is she that believeth, that believed, for there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from the Lord. And so for these chapters and verses, I'm bringing to you the theme. For thou hast found favor with God. Take note. Maybe as a woman, married or married, you have been ignorant of the fact that you have great favor with God Almighty and as a result you have no favor with God at all because you do not know what belongs to you I want to let you know it is very clear that when you do not know what belongs to you you cannot claim or possess it am I right? if you look at the book of Hosea chapter 4 Hosea chapter 4 I read verse 6 look at your Bible Hosea chapter 4 verse 6 and it reads my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge when you do not know what belongs to you that will bring destruction losing what belongs to you if this is your case then rejoice because this program is for you are you hearing me? The Lord will make you to know what belongs to you. For God has specially designed this program 
And even this very day, the light will inform you of your healing blessings, favor, and you are blessed in Him since the foundation of the world. So that you will go, go on with the knowledge to possess what belongs to you. Because in Daniel chapter 11, verse 32, and stands a being, the Bible says that those that do know their God, they shall be strong and they shall go as well. And the book of uh, John chapter 8, verse 32, the Bible says, We shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. I'm assuring you, beginning from this program, you are going home with favor. I didn't hear you very well. Now, let's go back to Luke chapter 1, verse 28. Luke chapter 1, reading verse 28, to verse 30. Look at your Bible. And it says, chapter 1, verse 28. And I read, verse 28. And the angel came in unto her, and said, Hey, thou art highly favored. The Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled. And he said, And cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel, and the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. Woman, you have favor with God. In the book of Genesis chapter 1, Genesis chapter 1 verse 28, look at the Bible, Genesis chapter 1, reading verse 28, and it reads, and God blessed them, and God said unto them, be fruitful and multiply, and he you the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the earth, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. He see your dominion. Blessings. I am assuring you, you shall not be in want of anything. If you believe it, say amen. So for more benefit, but more insight and benefit, we shall consider this message under the influence of readiness. One, the fact that women have found favor with God. Two, the reason I expected response and benefit. Let's go to point number one. The fact that women have found favor with God. God has made woman a special creature. In fact, you are special. From the beginning of the world, she was created to be an help me to man, woman. Which means women were created to make up men, and no matter what a man has, Without a woman, that man is incomplete. Are you hearing me? Any man, he may be this or maybe that, but he does not have a woman, does not have too many regards. Are you hearing me? There is still a vacuum in the life of that man. That man can be said, you are blessed, but that but there, is the woman missing in his life now if you look at your bible in the book of genesis chapter 2 i read verse 20 truth of verse 22 look at the bible chapter 2 verse 20 and truth of verse 22 and adam gave names to all cattle and to the fowl of the air and to every beast of the field. But for Adam, but for Adam, but for Adam, there was not found an help meet for him. But, and the Lord God caused a deep sleep to, feed, to fall upon Adam, and he slept, and he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh. 
instead thereof and the rib which the Lord God has taken from man made he a woman and brought her unto the man take note when there was no help made God did something he has to bring make a woman out a man a woman out of man and brought to the man now if you look at this verse in Genesis chapter 1 verse 28 where we read before Genesis chapter 1 verse 28 and he said and God blessed them and God said unto them be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that creepeth upon the earth and God said behold I give you every heart the iron sea which is upon the face of, the, of all the earth and every tree in the which is the fruit of a tree he did say to you it shall be for meat and every beast of the earth and every fowl of the earth and everything that creepeth upon the earth wherein there is life and giving every green herb for meat and it was so praise the Lord God handed everything to the man he created but there is something you need to see in Genesis chapter 2 verse 18 let's see it again chapter 2 verse 18 and the Lord said it is not good that the man should be what alone I will make him and help me for him and I will to the ground the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air and brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them and whatsoever Adam called every living creature that, cre that was upon the earth I mean what that every living creature that was the name thereof and Adam gave name to all cattle and to all fowl of the air and every beast of the field but for Adam there was not found and a help me for him you can see Adam has given name of everything everything was given to him but there was no help meet praise the Lord so eventually God met a woman to compliment the man to feed the, the vacuum to be an help meet unto man so women were created to make men complete or supplement whatever is lacking in men praise the lord a woman is like salt to the man and we know what salt gives we know that salt gives taste to the food am i right therefore with a woman duly married to a man there will be joy in that home and fulfillment in that man true or false what a great favor that you are the source of man's fulfillment isn't that favor please answer me if you look at Genesis chapter 2 verse 23 Genesis chapter 2 and verse 23 I read and Adam said this is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh she shall be called woman because she was taken out of man if you look at that that was a statement of what for female and he said this is now oh praise the Lord bone of my bones flesh of my flesh that was what statement of what fulfillment the man is saying now I am fulfilled I have companion I have joy I have somebody by my side praise the Lord a man without a woman 
that man will be full of sorrow even though he has everything he will not be forfeit he will not say now i am forfeit whenever there is any successful man there is always i didn't hear you very well if the woman is there there will be bought all the ants will enter the man's house and ravage that man you don't understand what i'm saying if a man has no woman in fact all the visitors and neighbors they will enter the kitchen they enter the bedroom they enter the in fact when there is no woman in the house eh? <laughs> what you find out that everybody or friends so uh what do you call them they will uh, they will take over the bedroom take over the kitchen take over the parlor take over the works but when the woman comes oh the house is secured can somebody say man you are rule you are rule in the life of man is unquantifiable are you hearing me you are a wonderful creature no wonder men can say without missing words i love you can i hear you say man women are the mother of all human beings on earth true or false whether the president or our governors they were born by whether leaders and the legs they were born by even the leader of the president the strongest nation of the world was born by who can you answer me now what about all this king great king was born by who the richest man on earth was born by who the most the most educated man was born by who the scientist was born, born by who the wisest man on earth even solomon was born by who oh what a great favor i want to let you know you have favor with god woman women you have favor with god let me take note of all the prophets were born by who all the priests of old were born by who the apostles of old were born by who the most anointed man of god the earth was born by who answer me now your pastor was born by who Praise the Lord. Woman, thou hast favor with God. I want to ask you a question. Noah was born by who? Abraham was born by who? Isaac was born by who? Jacob was born by who? Joseph and Joshua and David and Samson and Elijah and Elijah and Isaac, Jeremiah, Ezekiel were born by who? Women, I want to let you know you have favor with God. In the book of Genesis chapter 3 verse 20, look at your Bible. Genesis chapter 3 verse 20. And I read and Adam called his wife name Eve because she was what the mother of all living I want to let you know without you as a woman I don't know where would a man would have been are you hearing me I don't know what, how we can have population all over the world I don't know how I would have had, you know, all this, you know, population all over the world, you know, these billions, all of them were born by women. So, our Lord Jesus Christ demonstrated most of his miracles through who? Through women. Are you hearing me? Imagine the Lord. He demonstrated most of his miracles through what? I didn't hear you very well. 
For example, he passed through the virgin womb to be born into the world. Can you imagine? Even Jesus, our Savior, did not pass through man, but he entered woman's womb. I remain in the womb of a woman for nine months. What a favor. What a favor. How about Elizabeth, born by woman? Elizabeth also, a woman, had the favor of conceiving that great prophet. Are you hearing me? And the Bible said, among them that are born of women, that there has not been like who? Who born him? A woman. What about Anna and Sarah? All of them, why they were all barren women? I want to let you know God did wonders, opened their womb, and through them brought great, great men of God. So, He also, God Almighty, did His miracle wonders by making these barren women to conceive children. Isn't that a miracle? And it was performed unto the woman. And he also restored the son of a widow back to life. Was she a woman? A woman also brought the son of God, as I told you, and all his blessings to the world. Equally, woman brought the first message of resurrection to mankind. Do you know the first message that Jesus has risen? Who brought it? A woman. Praise the Lord. So Jesus did a lot of miracles through women and unto the women. And I'm assuring you today there will be miracle for you. If you are barren like Anna, Elizabeth, and Sarah, today Jesus will perform miracles in your life. Do you believe it? He has done this before. If there is only thing you have that is been, you know. Um, when one thing you have but that thing is going through a lot of problem and appear to be dead my friend that Jesus that restored the only child of a widow back to life he will restore that thing back to you that thing that has been threatened will be restored in Jesus name it is something we cannot exalt all the great favor women have with God in a single message. They are so numerous. Praise the Lord. In fact, women are blessed people. I don't know how to explain this. Take for instance, a young man running up and down, making money, building house, acquiring wealth and buying cars and doing having a lot of money a lady is there you know just singing hallelujah going up and down and then uh, and uh, you know not having any skin pen no skin pen and then a man is uh, running up and down acquiring wealth and buying this and buying that buying checks one day he will brought one woman in he becomes the owner you have favor with god if you are there you are single a man is preparing for you and you will soon get into your your jet your car your your mansion in jesus name do you know you have favor with God? That favor shall be made manifest from henceforth. I didn't hear you very well. You see you. God will perform miracle in your life. Jesus will perform miracle in your life. I'm assuring you that through this program, in this program, every outstanding miracle I've been looking for over the years, because of the favor you have with God, that miracle shall be delivered to you. <laughs> Who is that woman? You mean you are the one? You mean you are the one? I release it to you. 
will hear your testimony when next we are gathering. Let's go to point number two. The reason I, I was expected response and benefit. A careful study of the above verses of the book of Luke chapter 1 verse 27 to 30 shows that Mary was not like other women. She did not defy herself. Before marriage, she did not do what? Defy herself. You must take note of that. She was a holy woman. She was not an adulterer. She was not a fornicator. She was not involved in abortion. She was not a stubborn and disobedient woman. She was not a sinner or a worldly woman who dresses to entice the world or entice men. She was not dressing with earrings or bango or all kinds of rings, gold or silver. She was not painting her mouth. She was not putting attachment on her head. She was not perming her head. She was not wearing trousers or shorts as a woman. She was not a backslider. She was maintaining purity. Praise the Lord. I say Mary was maintaining what? Purity. And the God of purity came to her. And her matter was settled. If you will follow the step of Mary, the God of purity will follow you. Something will happen in your life after this program. If you look at your Bible in the book of Matthew chapter 5 verse 8 Matthew chapter 5 verse 8 The Bible says Blessed are the pure in heart For they shall see God Anyone who will maintain righteousness and purity on every side Who will put on garment of holiness The Lord will bear you on eagle wings can I hear you say amen? If you look at the book of uh, Hebrews chapter 12 verse 14 It says follow peace with all men And holiness which without No eyes shall see the Lord I want to let you know If you want to see him Holiness, peace Holiness, peace with all men You must not copy the word In the book of Hebrews chapter 10 verse 38 Let's read Hebrews chapter 10 I read from verse 38 Chapter 10 And verse 38 Now the just shall live by faith And if any man drew back My soul shall have no pleasure in him But we are not of them that Are not of them who drew back to, Unto petition But of them that believe To the serving of their soul My sisters and brothers Backsliders and not having favor with God. If you will maintain your righteousness and faith and confidence in the Lord and serve Him with all your heart, you shall have favor with who? From this program, you are going home with favor. The God of favor will follow you. Mary knew the Lord. She feared the Lord. She obeyed him. She was a true child of God. And today, all the women who will humble themselves to be like Mary shall find favor with God. Women who will be faithful to God and to their husband. Women who will serve God like Anna, Elizabeth, Mary. Women who will turn their face from the things of the world. Women who will be committed to serve God or to the service of God in this ministry. Women who will train their children in the fear of God. 
who will not allow them to go into worldliness, WhatsApp, and them, you know, Google, and them, uh, internet, and all these things to allow and praise their children in evil. Women who will not praise their children in evil, who will not train their children in the world of the world, the Lord will locate you. Are you hearing me? Women who will not say, well, my child has gone to university. He can dress anyhow. He can do anyhow. My child has gone to um, the London. He has gone to secondary school. He can you know, do what he like. Women who will not say, well, my child should do what he like. He's a man. He's a woman. He's up to you know, do what he do. He like. My friend, train up the child the way he should go. So that when he grow, he shall not depart from it. A woman shall let you that, do that. I shall do that. That woman will find favor with God. Are you hearing me? Women that do the will of God, they will go home with favor. Can I hear you say amen? Women who will not be calling their children tiger, lion, bear, rats, cats, and they when that is a tiger, he can devour, and he's a wonderful tiger. And the child is taken in their hand, cocaine, heroin, and is into armed robbery, and the mother is happy. A woman who will not praise in the child, when he's into prostitution, and even though, you know, um, looking for men, abortion. Women who will train their children in the fear of God, you shall find favor with God. Can somebody say amen? Women who will when their children will return home after their break or season, they will go and search their pocket and search their bag and then look at their head and look at them and put them and say, Follow me. You don't need to be like the people of the world. That kind of woman, God is taking note. You will find favor with who? I'm, I'm not hearing you very well. So I want to take note, women who will not be wearing their children's trousers and putting attachment and weapon upon them and then making them to go and smoke and drink and is proud. That woman that will not do that will find favor with who? And Sammy now. So I want to let you know women who will be faithful to God and to their husband, as I told you, women who will serve God like all the women that serve God in holiness in time past like Anna, Elizabeth, Mary as I told you those who will not love the world love money and not, you know, allow pride the Lord will use them to bring present in this world he will use them to bring kings are you hearing me? he will use it to bring rich men and rich women I don't know, I don't know whether I follow him. He used to be wise people, educated people, blessed people into this world. So that the generation of the righteous must continue. Can I hear you say amen? So as many that have fear God and they're ready to bring children in the word of the Lord, if you are barren to death, that you will break. In this program, you must conceive. Can you say amen to it? In Luke chapter 1 verse 45. Let's see. Luke chapter 1. In verse 45. And blessed is he that believes. For there shall be a performance of those things. Which were told her from the Lord. And verse 46. And Mary said. My soul doth those well magnify the Lord, and my spirit rejoice in God my you find out that Mary knew who I didn't hear you and Mary was saved he called God what God my Savior my friend if you want to have favor with God you must be saved God must be your savior. Are you hearing me? The Lord must be your Lord and your God. Now look at verse 47. And my spirit hath rejoiced in God my savior. 
for he has regarded the low estate of his handmen. For behold, from henceforth all generations are called me one. Mary was a humble woman. Mary was one that you know fear God and does the will of God on every side. And look at verse 15. And his mercy is upon them that fear him from generation to generation. Does she fear God? I didn't hear you very well. Mary fears God and he said his mercy is upon them that fear him from what? From generation to generation. Any woman or any sister that will fear God, mercy of God will come upon you. Favor of God will come upon you. You shall be blessed from generation to generation. Now look at that place I'm in. In Luke chapter, Luke chapter 2, I read verse 51. Chapter 2 and verse 51. Praise the Lord. I mean, chapter 1, verse 51. Luke chapter 1. And he has shoot strength with his arm. And he has scattered the proud in the imagination of their heart. He has put down the mighty from their seat. And exalted them of, a, of no decree. I told you, Mary was a humble woman. And the Lord sorted out, her out and, and blessed her. And she had favor with God. So, if you will follow the step of Mary today, favor will follow you. You, should, you will find favor with God beginning from today. Your children shall be blessed. Your husband shall be blessed because of you. And everything around you shall be blessed. All spring stars that shall be that shall be like we described today. I'm assuring you, you shall be blessed with a good husband. You shall be blessed with a lot of blessings in life in Jesus' name. So from today, weep no more. Are you hearing me? Over sicknesses or poverty or barrenness or delay in, in conception or delivering babies through cesarean operations, yes, or having only female female children or only male children today the Lord will break the yoke and that broken home no matter the problem as you begin to live the life that pleases God broken home shall be bound together the strange woman in your marriage shall go that sickness shall be no more delay in marriage shall be cancelled Exam failure shall be cancelled. Delay in getting things in life or getting visa will be cancelled. Disappointment in life will be cancelled. Demonic oppression, spirit husband, demonic and marine spirit. As you begin to live right today, I'm assuring you they shall be cancelled. You shall be totally free in Jesus' name. For you will find favor with God. I want to remind you, once you begin to do what pleases God, my friend, God Almighty will manifest in your life. And he will bring about the favor you have with him from the beginning. That favor will return to you. And you shall be a favor woman in Jesus' name. So what you have to do now, as I begin to round up, you need to search your life. If you are living life contrary to the life of Mary. If you are among those that are living their life in sin, in stubbornness, in unfaithfulness, in unrighteousness, you should understand a Christian is not a sinner. And a sinner is not a Christian. What you have to do? Repent and amend your ways. And as you do that today, and believe that Jesus died for you, shed his blood for you, and was buried, and at all day, he rose again for justification, I'm assuring you, salvation shall be your portion. Remember, 
Proverbs chapter 28 verse 13 says, He that covereth his sin shall not prosper. But whoso that confess them and forsake them, what happened? He shall have mercy. I don't know the evil you're into. Please amend your ways. Don't forget the Bible said in First John chapter 3 verse 8. And I read First John chapter 3 verse 8. Look at your Bible. He says, He that committed sin is of the devil, for the devil sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested, that they might destroy the works of the devil. Whoever that continues in sin, is a, if that person belongs to the devil. Because Jesus came to destroy the nation of sin, and giving us a new nature of righteousness, of holiness. If you look at verse 9, he says, Whosoever is born of God does not commit sin, for his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin because he is born of God. So, such your life. I don't know the sin you are into. If you look at First John chapter 5, verse 17, the Bible made us understand if you are asking what is sin, he said, All on righteousness is sin. Anything that is not righteousness is what? Sin. It could be unbelief, unforgiveness, selfishness, lying, hatred, anger, pride, and keeping malice, bearing grudge, bitterness, lusting after everything, covetousness. Confess them and say, Look, I am sorry. I don't know the wickedness you are into. I mean your ways. Maybe among those are into hatred or envy. These are terrible sin. Repent to the blasphemy or backbiting, speaking evil of other people or cursing people or swearing with heaven and earth or worshiping idol or making idol or having idol in your heart. Confess them, renounce them. Mercy will come to you. I don't know the evil you are into. All these people that are involved in going to native doctors and making sharp that is sin. All those people that belong to secret court or open court, local or international court, marine court, all these are sin. Confess them and promise God no more. Uh, or maybe you are into you know stealing it or stealing from where you are working or you are into fraud or you are working in such places where there are thieves and robbers repent and resign from such places and mean that you are worse and if you are more than a joint them to steal don't bring the money as stolen or rob people and bring it to the church we don't need such money and mean that you are worse are you stealing from people or from government or from your company or from your parents? Repent and promise God no more. I don't know the evil you are into. Those that involve into are uh, into sin of masturbation, uh, lesbianism, or those people that are into involved into you know the sin of abortion, prostitution. You must repent to that and say, Lord, I am sorry. Or sin of adultery, fornication, promise God no more. And if you are among those that said the drug for abortion or kill for people in order for them to have their way, repent and say, Lord, I am sorry. I mean, your ways. Are you a murderer? Are you among those that work in the hospital? And then you are especially in all this, especially in all these things, promise God no more. And if you are involved in to, you know, hire that succeed or ritual killing, or you are working where they are doing these things, resign from those places. Or you are into kidnapping, or you are agent to those people, resign from those places. And if you are made money from there, don't give us your money. Or you are a terrorist, or you are working with them, repent and promise God no more. And mend their ways. All these people are fighting and quarreling. All these people fighting and their, their husband is not disobedient to their husband. A sin. I mean, you are ways. All those working for people and they do, the, no, they do not do the work and are just, you know, uh, folding their hands and collecting salary. 
a sin or you don't pay those working for you that is sin and mend your ways I don't know the wickedness I are into those that give bribe take bribe and stop money from people because of their uniform because of their position I mean they will repent and promise God no more such your life I don't know the wickedness I are into now is acceptable time tomorrow may be too late are you involved into you know this wickedness or smuggling or, or you know uh, smoking cigarettes or taking snuff or, in, or you know taking uh, Indian hemp or cocaine or heroin are you selling it or walking where they sell it or are you smoking them repent and promise God no more or maybe you are into taking alcoholic drinks uh, white mingo broku to hot, hot drink beer one percent or half percent that's what they are selling or you are buying it for people you are drinking it these things are unrighteousness and terrible sin confess them and close that shop God will bless you God will give you a better business and mend your ways and those that marry and divorce that is sin those are into polygamous marriage you are a second wife or third wife fourth wife you need to pack and and go you have no hus husband but you are committing adultery and if you left your, your real husband your first man in your life you need to go back to him marriage is between a man and a woman until they do your part in Matthew chapter 19 verse 4 let's see Matthew chapter 19 I read verse 4 he says and he answered and said unto them have you not read that he which made them at the beginning made them men and female and said for this cause shall a man leave father and mother and shall cleave to his wife and then twin shall be one flesh wherefore there are no more twin but one flesh what therefore God has joined together let no man put asunder and mend their ways if you have made the mistake in marriage correct it before it is too late I want to remind you, my sisters and brothers who are here, my sisters especially, if you are among those that paint your hands and paint your leg and paint your mouth, paint your eyes, my friends, stop that. That is the attires of the prostitute. Those that put extra finger, extra eye, extra nose, uh, attachment and weaving and palming and earrings and jewelry or bango, that is sin. Stop it and promise God no more. You need to search your life. And all those people that dress to expose their nakedness, that is sin. Cover your body properly well. Those that expose their chest, their ampy, their tummy, their waist, their laps, that's sin. Or those that bleach their body, those things are terrible sin. Or maybe, you know, those people that as a woman that wearing trousers or dressed like a man, that is sin. In fact, Jeremiah chapter 4 verse 30 says, when they ask for it, what shall they do? Do they go after painting, after ornament? Whenever a woman has for you begin to make her, you begin to change body. And if, if a woman wearing trousers, dressed like a man, the Deuteronomy 22 verse 5 said, and I read, that such people that do such things are abomination unto the Lord their God. And I read verse 5, the woman shall not wear the wish pertaining to a man, not actually man put on woman's garment for all that do so are abomination on the lord thy god and abominable people the bible said cannot enter the kingdom of god so are you among them dressed like a man wearing thousands and calves and all the men's attire that's a sin look at verse 8 revelation 21 verse 8 for the fear of an unbeliever and abominable and murderers and homongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars to have their part in the lake which burn with fire and brainstorm. People that dress like this, abominable people, shall be cast into hell fire. I pray it shall never be your portion. Remember, he lost you. No wonder he has made a provision for the sins that are past. And he said, When I see the blood, according to Exodus chapter 2, verse 13. I will pass over you. And you know the blood of Jesus cannot wash away sin. That, it, that blood was used as a symbol to the blood of Jesus which is to come in the New Testament. And the Bible said in John chapter 1 verse 29, I read, here we see the actual blood 
that was shed for us at the cross of Calvary for the cleansing of our sin for the washing away of our sin verse 29 the next day John said Jesus coming unto him and said behold the Lamb of God which taketh away the sin of the world who is that Lamb? Jesus Christ no wonder in John chapter 3 verse 16 the Bible said for God so loved the world I give his only begotten son that whosoever believeth he should not perish but have everlasting life and also in John chapter 19 verse 13 when Jesus shed the blood he said it is finished the end of all sacrifice for sin he said it is all over Christ has made it once and for all no wonder in John chapter 14 verse 6 Jesus said I am the way the truth and the life no man cometh to the Father but by me only to him have access to God only to him will he consign with God our sins are washed away in John chapter 10 verse 10 b Jesus said I come that I might have life have it more abundantly and also in the book of John chapter 8 verse 36 he said if the son therefore shall make you free you shall be free indeed and in John in John chapter 1 verse 12 look at it he said but as many as receive him to them gave he power to become the sons of God even to them that believe on his name no wonder Jesus said in Matthew chapter 11 28 come unto me all you that labor and heavy laden and I will give you your rest and so as you come to the Father through Jesus Christ there shall be total transformation your life will change you shall become a new creature 2nd Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 he said therefore if any man be in Christ is a new creature all things are passed away and behold all things are become new once in Christ there will be definite transformation definite change you become a new creature and the Bible made us understand as many of you who want to reconcile with God as you repent today and renounce the evil you call upon the Lord and as you amend their ways I'm assuring you salvation will come upon you as you call upon the name of the Lord today you shall have favor with God in Romans chapter 10 verse 13 he said whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved just rise up on your feet amend your ways and call upon the Lord I will pray for you that shall be transformation the Lord will bless you the Lord will grant you favor and from today impossibilities in your life shall be made possible amend your ways now in prayers in repentance everybody pray everybody I am sorry oh Lord forgive me I've done evil before I will do it no more show me mercy I repent of every known and unknown sin oh Lord forgive me cleanse me change me transform my life let everybody pray everybody I am sorry oh Lord show me mercy forgive me cleanse me transform me oh Lord I pray for salvation of my soul everybody pray repent of every known and unknown sin confess them renounce them promise God no more give your life to Jesus Christ open your mouth and pray everybody pray I am sorry Lord I am sorry Lord Father, I am sorry, Lord. Oh, Lord, I am sorry, Lord. I am sorry, Lord. Sorry, Lord. Jehovah. Oh, Lord. I am sorry, Lord. Sorry, Lord. Jehovah. close 
can help bow. If you are truly sorry and you want to give your life to Jesus, just raise your hand up. I want to pray for you. Raise your hands up, your two hands up. That person that is into prostitution, promise God no more. And that person also that is into unforgiveness, promise God no more. Forgive them, God will forgive you. The person also that is trafficking on children, you don't know what they do with those children, repent and promise God no more. And I want to pray for you that commit abortion, promise God no more. That person that is having problem in your family, where you're married, and they're asking you for peace, go and make peace, and God will bless you. Now, I want to pray for you also, that going to native doctor to make, look for charm to solve your problem, repent and say no more. I will do that no more. And you also that is stealing, repent and say, Lord, I will never try it again. I mean their ways. I want to pray also for you fighting, quarreling. Say, Lord, no more, no more. I will do it no more. And that person into fornication, that person also into adultery, promise God no more. All of you that are ready to give your life to Jesus, keep your two hands up. That person murmuring, complaining, always angry and with bitterness. Say, the Lord, no more. Keep your hands up. Say this word after me. Almighty God, I come before you in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I confess that I am a sinner. I am very sorry for all my sin. Lord, I promise you, I will never continue in them anymore. From today, I confess and I believe that Jesus Christ died for me. He shed his precious blood for me and he was buried. And on the third day, he rose again for my justification. Almighty God, use the blood of Jesus Christ. Wash my sins away from my heart. I plead the blood of Jesus. From today, I reject the devil. I renounce all his evil. Jesus Christ, come into my heart. Be my Lord. Be my personal Savior. Cancel my name in the book of death. Write my name in the book of life. Give me power to sin no more. In Jesus' name I pray. Can I hear you say amen? Keep your two hands up. Sing this song. I surrender. I surrender. Oh, to Jesus, blessed Savior. I surrender. I surrender one more time. I surrender all to Jesus, blessed Savior. Keep your hands up and pray for you. That person that is pregnant and you want to remove that child because of how things are, don't try it. The Lord will take care of you. Don't do that abortion because if you do it, there will be trouble. Keep your hands up. And that lady that lies a lot, why are you lying? Repent and promise God no more. I'm praying for you now. Our Father in heaven, I come in the name of Jesus Christ. O oh Lord, I present this, my beloved brethren, before you. Whatsoever they have done, known and unknown to them, Father, in your rod, remember mercy. Every yoke of power that made them to do evil, I break that yoke, let that power be cancelled in Jesus' name. From this hour, I claim their spirit that sold their body for Jesus Christ. 
Father, cancel their name in the book of death. Write their name in the book of life. Give them power to sin no more in Jesus' name. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. I pray, sanctify their heart and make them holy, pure in Jesus' name. Say amen to that prayer. Bring down your hands and it is amen in heaven. Now keep your offering up. After our offering now, favor will follow you. Keep it up. The tithes of seed of faith of pledges. Keep it up. Of vow. I'm praying over them all. O oh Lord God that we serve, I thank you for giving us something to offer. O oh Lord, as we offer to you, sanctify our offering by the blood of Jesus. That these hands will lift it up wherever we shall place it, I command it to prosper. And I pray, give to us beyond our expectations in Jesus' name. Can I hear you say amen? amen. Keep it all our chats are coming near you. He has given me the joy of my heart. He has given the joy of my heart. Oh, after so many years of my sorrow, the Lord has given the joy of my the God of choosing. So many, so old. I want so many, so Friend, please drop it. I'm praying for you now. And um, 
all those that are outside they should understand that this is the time they have been expecting since morning till now they should be able to take their miracle home now I want to pray for these people and uh, you could be among them you have been looking for a child for a long time and you have been looking for a child for over 20 years in fact somebody 20 years other person 23 24 and 25 and in fact you have been looking for a child for 17 years now it is your turn in fact for somebody here they told you you can never have child again where is your hand in the name of Jesus Christ whom I serve I pray that yoke now I command your womb to be open something is taking place now you people have mocked you because of no child in fact somebody here you are coming to this program as the last hope now all of you 10 years 15 years 13 years and you 18 years 27 years 24 years 25 years 20 years now i pray the work now receive power let the child you are looking for be delivered to you somebody said i need baby boy and a baby girl I receive somebody said I need two bouncing baby boy to receive their children somebody saying I need a baby boy now 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 or you carry a baby boy now as I finish go for test go for hospital go for test now anywhere they tie your womb that womb i lose it now do the tie the womb and put on top of the tray put in the bottle put in any coffin i destroy the coffin i destroy the bottle i release you Oh yeah, receive your bouncing baby in Jesus' name. Where are you for seven years plus? Oh yeah, carry a fine boy. And that lady for four and some fraction years, carry your baby now. And your past nine years, no child, carry your baby now. And that person for 14 years carry your baby now. That person for 26 years, I break the unbreakable yoke. Carry your baby in Jesus' name. All of you that have one child they cut off. From now, let children be multiplied to you. The angels are distributing. The angels are giving people children. That person that says you enter menopause, in your menopause, conceive. You will never see your period since you have knowledge i command your period to flow from now to three days in jesus name and all of you that your period have been seized in the name of jesus i give you three days let your period flow say amen all of you that have no children 
I give you from now to the end of this month. And in fact, it shall never pass three months. It is wrong. You looking for a baby boy. You have had four baby girls. Today, receive a bouncing baby boy. That person, that child in your womb, that they say is a baby girl, I turn that child to a baby boy. Father, intervene in Jesus' name. My God, day. That person suffering from diabetes, I cancel it. And constant urinating, I cancel it. This night, you can never urinate more than once. Receive your healing in Jesus' name. And that person that over the years, asthmatic cough. I break the yoke of asthmatic cough. Be healed from today in Jesus' name. You coughing out blood, coughing out blood. Be healed of tuberculosis in Jesus' name. And I pray for you that oppression you are having in having your baby every time. This baby you are having now, you will never deliver by oppression. I cancel oppression for you in Jesus' name. And I pray for you that doesn't sleep in the night. If you try to close your eyes, a lot of bad, bad dream. I cancel that evil. I release you. I command you to sleep like a baby in Jesus' name. And I pray for you. Something is making noise in your stomach. You can't understand. I cause that noise. I command that being come out in Jesus' name. And that person your pregnancy is not developing. From now on, your pregnancy will shoot out. Anywhere they are taking your baby to, wherever by witchcraft oppression that commanded your child your way, I command your child to return to the womb now. Say amen. Say amen. That spirit of untimely death in your family, I cancel that spirit. From now all you and your family members shall fulfill your years in Jesus' name. That typhoon fever, malaria, parasite, I cancel you. And I command that bleeding, I command you to cease. Oh Lord, I pray for this person. Every door appeared to be closed. In the name of Jesus, I open that door. For you and your husband, your family, in Jesus' name. From today, let there be financial miracle. Say amen. Say amen. That abandoned project, your family, let project be finished in Jesus' name. That person that is saying your age has passed, your forty something years, no husband, or your prepare, prepare, get ready. Your husband is coming on your way. He is coming on your way from now to three weeks. Let your husband appear. Say amen. That damage wound. Be healed. And I command you to conceive in Jesus' name. That cancer of the breast, I cause you cancer. I command you to dry up in Jesus' name. The leg poison that gushing out water, I cause the poison. Let it dry up in Jesus' name. All that your children are having academic problem, I open their understanding. And I pray that they gain admission and begin to do well in Jesus' name. Somebody here, I declare scholarship for you, for your children. Father, intervene in Jesus' name. My daddy, whatever they are taking from this family, whatever glory is turning, Whatever key taken from you, whatever key collected in the dream, let that key be restored. 
may that glory be restored. Say amen to this prayer. My God be. I command that weapon be here. I command that kidney problem be here. I command that pneumonia be here. I command that hyena be here. Oh Lord, transform my people in Jesus' name. The head, that heaviness in the head be healed. That, that stress be cancelled in Jesus' name. I pray for that oppression. I cancel the oppression. That in that battle that somebody going on here, yeah, try to give that person victory in Jesus' name. Since you pass into that yard, that your husband, nothing is working again, I command whatever they use on the foundation be destroyed. And I command to begin to do well in that yard in Jesus' name. My daddy, all this one that are out of employment, I pray from now to the end of this month, let that be miracle employment. This one are waiting for promotion, let your promotion come. You and your husband be going for a particular contract, let it be granted in Jesus' name. And if you looking for contract, I connect you. Say amen. My daddy, fight for my people, defend my people, deliver my people. Every attack from the village, I return it back to sender. Every attack, every attack can be destroyed in Jesus' name. My daddy, this one that carried their pregnancy for a long time, I lose you, go and deliver Hebrew women. Every fear of death, I cancel it in Jesus' name. Daddy, let the kata be healed. Let the tooth pen be healed. Let the pie disappear. Let the epilepsy be cancelled. Let that abnormal growth be put in Jesus' name. That evil boy, I cost that boy in that body in Jesus' name. I command the toilet infection be healed. Father, heal my people in Jesus' name. I pray for brand new kidney, two kidney in Jesus' name. Hypertitis B be cancelled. No BP be cancelled. Shortness of love be cancelled. Father, I command prosperity upon their families in Jesus' name. Every sickness they brought here today, I cancel that sickness. I declare them free in Jesus' name. And from today, whoever that is missing in that family, I command that place to be found. That court case, I pray for victory. That person in prison be released in Jesus' name. Can I hear you say amen? I command this broken marriage be joined together. The strange woman in your marriage be uprooted in Jesus' name. Father, I command favor, favor, favor. And I decree from today, let favor follow them in Jesus' name. Say amen again. Say it again. Can you open your mouth and present your matter so I can round up for you? Present that problem that brought you here. The Lord has done it. The Lord has done it. The Lord has done it. It is done. It is done. It is done. So bye 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 bye. So bye bye. I belong to God. 
allow the Lord to finish the work on those women. So by by I belong to the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Keep your prayer requests up. Keep your hands up. Keep your hanky up. Now, all of you whose door have been closed by the enemy, by the blood of Jesus, I neutralize the power. And I pray and decree from today, door of favor be open. Door of financial miracle be open. Door of financial favor be open. That all their businesses, I give a command. Let your business prosper. I pray for and declare miracle promotion employment for everyone in Jesus' name. The person you have at home that is sick, I cancel the sickness. Whatever you are looking and you miss it, I command to be found. Let the document be found. That they intervene in Jesus' name. I present all these prayer requests. Whatever they are mentioned in their mouth, I declare it done in Jesus' name. All the pictures, touch them one by one. All the hanky, anointing for favor, anointing for protection, anointing for signs and wonders and miracles. Let it come upon their hands, upon their hanky, in Jesus' name. Can somebody say amen? From today, I decree the angel of favor to follow all of you. And bring favor wherever you go in Jesus' name. Say amen seven times. And it is amen in heaven. You are covered with the blood of Jesus. Tomorrow is a, a crusade. And tomorrow crusade is titled something special to occupy. God will give you something special to occupy tomorrow. Tomorrow is crusade. And a great one. All the newcomers will welcome you tomorrow. And we assure you of closing you on time. You are covered with blood of Jesus. The Lord will take you home safely in Jesus' name. And I shall begin to hear your testimony from tomorrow. As you sleep, angel will walk on you. And you will wake up with miracle in Jesus' name. Remember, on Tuesday, we we'll have a program here in the morning. 8 a.m. in the night, in the evening, 5 p.m., called Miracle Service. And occupy till I come again. Thursday, a special service. Council and delivering service. And also on Wednesday, 5 p.m., new combat class. All the people that are here for the first time, today we are meeting on Wednesday, 5 p.m. But remember to come tomorrow. You'll hear of more of the information. You are covered with blood of Jesus. As you go, you are, you are going to take an announcement of your buses and enter big big buses. Please use the footbridge to cross the express road. Don't cross. Look at the two sides. Don't just cross the road. You are covered with the blood of Jesus. Always enter big big buses in the night. You are blessed. I'm the God of Jesus answer prayer. The God of Jesus as our prayer. Oh, oh, don't want me. No, 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 and you are supposed to watch it here tomorrow. Why not stay and go home and tell them I'm 
stay in the church for tomorrow's service. After tomorrow, I will come. You are covered with blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. You are blessed. Man. I can see everything turning around for your good. Man. And I can see blessings all over you. Man. I got one I'm choosing. Choosing in heaven. I got one I'm choosing. Choosing in heaven. I got one I'm choosing. Choosing in heaven. Oh, yeah, you raise him. Say, I got one. tomorrow. You are blessed. Thank you.